putting cabinet myself. I'm going to be able to do it. I know what I'm doing. I'll save us four or five thousand dollars. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know about this, man. I would have been better off buying something made out of metal and putting it in my own cabinets. I don't think this, uh, I don't think this plastic, I don't think it's going to hold up. I mean, that one looks good, right? Because it's like, but these are all cattywampus. It's like, oh, we'll put them here. It's like, no, you can't do it. It's like, they don't even know what they're doing. I don't know. Maybe there's two different style of cabinets. But either way, like, I mean, even as bad as, like, that's not even a clean drill. You just tell it cheap. So then they got those cattywampus. So they'll go into the, I'm sorry. <clears throat> so they'll go into the thick part of the, at some point I'm going to take these off. Probably stick a washer in there. I'll have to. The plastic is not going to hold up. And I mean, god damn. So I was extremely meticulous, right? I measured everything and I did everything and then everything written down and I was buying everything in order. They didn't have the Lazy Susan I had planned out in stock and I was like, well, I don't really see what difference it was made because I'm stupid. And uh, so I got this one. I was like, hey, this one's like $10 cheaper. The dimensions are slightly different, but I don't see how that'll make a difference. Do you see how it might make a difference now? Does anybody? Does anybody have an idea how it might make a difference? Oh my goodness. What in the fuck is wrong with me? Well now what the fuck do I do? That is pretty funny. I mean it's not funny at all. But it's still kind of funny. God damn it, I'm such a fucking moron. Oh, I'm putting cabinets myself. I'm going to be able to do it. I know what I'm doing. I'll save us four or five thousand dollars. <laughs> Two hundred dollars down the drain, maybe? I don't fucking know. Now I gotta measure for this. Try to this, figure out this drain placement so I can put a hole in this cabinet right here. Okay, I did my best to measure out my lines. The one that the speed squares on is not the one that's lead that should come up. It's that one. So right there should be my center of that and then right there should be my center for my water pipes. Hopefully I'm not completely stupid. End up with 14 holes in the bottom of my freaking cabinet. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that I have convinced the old lady that if we are to stay in Georgia we need to build a house that's underground. Alright, let's hope we measured right. So in case I didn't say it while ago, I, uh, that's as far as I can get with the Forester bits. And you can definitely see where they say you can't use them for like, especially the big ones for refined work. You see that's just eating away the particle board. Not worried about it because that hole's going to be bigger. I'm not really sure why I even did it that way. You know, mostly because I'm a moron. <clears throat> I was thinking that maybe that would be big enough to to get those in. That hole. But it's not. And then it didn't even occur to me the whole time that uh that I should look for the piece that we bought years ago for this that's been over in the barn because maybe it doesn't even exist anymore and sure enough it doesn't I went over there and it's non-existent so I'm like well fuck now it's getting there pretty expensive for a decent one you know you spend easily 30 bucks I'm like well you know what I'm probably gonna need smaller ones for my freaking counter right for my sink things and my hose thing and all so I just bought a kit Take a week to get here. 
because I didn't Amazon Prime it because it was actually cheaper at Home Depot. And I mean, I couldn't Amazon Prime to anything anyway. It still would have taken the same amount of time even through Amazon because the quality ones were uh, not offered on Prime. So, and plus I'm going to stop doing that because it's a huge carbon footprint. I'm just going to start getting once a week deliveries. And maybe if we're real, real lucky, sometime before 2019 is over, we'll have ourselves a kitchen. Yay!